Good evening. My name is Ishika Tapur Ghosh and I belong to Thane Maharashtra. I am currently in first year aiming to complete my bachelor's of science in statistics from SIES College of Art Science and Commerce Autonomous Mumbai Maharashtra. Have you heard of these numbers? I guess some of you might have, but many of us still don't have any idea about what are these numbers. Now, a very important question arises that why did I choose this particular topic for my presentation? For that, I would like to play one video for you all. So, as per the video, the word data science fascinates us. Data science is the upcoming future. And I think data consists of numbers and structures, isn't it? And if we don't know these different types of numbers, which are actually the basics of data analytics or for that matter data science, we might not sustain the data wave. And so I have decided to select this topic because 75% of the world are in this data world. 20% are thinking too, but just 5% don't have any idea. And this is the biggest application at this point which I could have shared with you. So let's begin with the first number. Armstrong numbers are also named as plus perfect numbers and narcissistic numbers. These numbers were invented by and also named after Mikhail Armstrong. But a question arises that what are these plus perfect numbers? So let's consider an example, say 153. It is a three digit number, right? So let's separate the digits 1, 5 and 3. Since it is a three digit number, let's take the third power of each of the digit and let's add it up. So it will be one cube plus five cube plus three cube. If it would have been a four digit number, then what we would have taken the fourth power. If it would have been a five digit number, then we would have taken the fifth power. So one cube is one plus 125 plus 27. When we add it up, we get the answer as 150. Now, what, do, what can we conclude from this? When the sum of the digits raised to the nth power where n stands for the number of digits and if the sum comes out to be the same as the number which is given to us then such numbers are called as Armstrong numbers or narcissistic numbers. They are also said or called positional numbers. Why are these called as positional numbers? Let's have a check out. Let's take for example the number 175. Okay. So the number 175, the digit 1 is in the first position the digit 7 is in the second position and the fifth digit is in the third position. So, since 1 is in the first position, I will take the first power of 1. Because 7 is the second is in the second position, I will take the second power of 1. And because 5 is in the third position, I will take the third power of 5. And then I will again add them. And then it becomes 1 plus 49 plus 125. When we add it up, we get the sum as 175. Again a match. What are these positional numbers? It is the sum of the digits which are power to its positions. It is power to what? It is power to its positions. And if the sum comes out to be equal to the given number, it is called as the Zerium number. Strong numbers. They are even referred to as special numbers. Are strong numbers really strong and special? It doesn't have any that sort of relation. It has a relation with factorials. Let's consider the number 145. Let's separate the digits 1, 4 and 5. Let's take factorial of these digits and add it up. It turns out to be 1 plus 4 factorial which is 24 plus 5 factorial which is 120. And when we add these numbers, I get my answer as 145. Again a match with a given number. So what does strong numbers or special numbers mean? Strong numbers or special numbers mean is if the sum of the factorial of the digits is equal to the given number, it is termed as a strong number or also as a special number. So now let's start with the next two numbers, the neon numbers and happy numbers. The number which I have considered over here is 9. When I take this square of 9, I get 9 into 9 which is 81. And when I add up this, that is 8 plus 1. I get back the number again, the original one, 9. 
such numbers are called as mion numbers. If the sum of the square of the given number or in more better way, the sum of the digits of the square of the given number turns out to be equal to the number which is given, it is termed as mion numbers. So let's take the number 90. The sum of the squares of the digits. It is 82. Again, let's take the squares of the digits. It is 68. Again, the same math. And then again the same thing it comes out to me. And we have reached our destination 1. So the aim in happy numbers is to obtain 1. If by doing such a long process I get 1 as the answer, then it is a happy number. Now just think of when you play the games. You are given a certain target. If you reach the target, you are marked as a winner, else a loser. These concepts are used in there. How? The programmers program these numbers in the input and the output you get is as winner or not. Just for example, let's consider a game where you need to make the bird reach to its nest. So if the bird reaches the nest, you are termed as a winner, else a loser. Using this logic, we get it how if 19 reaches to 1, it is a happy number. But if this doesn't reach to 1, it is not termed as a happy number. And so I have chosen these numbers as my topic for this presentation. So the last type of number is mystery numbers. I have considered the number 121. I need to find two numbers whose sum will be 121. And if we reverse the number, we get the same thing. So if I am not wrong, the numbers will be 29 and 92. Let's just check it out. 9 plus 2 is 11. 1, 9 plus 2 is 11 and 121. Here it goes. If it was 29, I get 92. If it was 92, I get 29. Such numbers are mystery numbers. These numbers are useful in creating user IDs or the uh, IDs which are actually by numbers. How? If suppose your birth, date of birth is 22. 22. Okay? And you need... So 22. If I add 11 and 11, I get 22. Correct? So 11 and 11. If I reverse them. So my number ID would have been 11022011 and we have seen such IDs when we install any application when we sign in somewhere to a new music application we say user this 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 so these mystery numbers are helpful there so this was all about numbers so in the second part of this video let's discuss where are these numbers actually applicable in the field of computer science IT engineering these numbers are very useful in sports, in games and also in navigation systems, these numbers are used. It's a part and the basic of artificial intelligence as well as data science. We watch a 3D animated movie. We have playstations where we play by connecting our pads to the television. These are all done using programmings which actually include these numbers. These numbers are also beautiful because they help to encode various different types of geometrical shapes. So let me ask you a question. Did you hear about a fractal? What is it? With computers, we create beautiful art, isn't it? And this fractal is among one such beautiful art with which we can generate repetitive patterns. Have you heard about what is a quaternion? We see the 3D animated movies, right? But have we thought of that how the tiny ball looks so big? That's using quaternions. And those quaternions are nothing but built using these numbers. So that's all for my presentation. And I am really gladful to perform or participate in such a beautiful competition on behalf of the National Mathematics Day. And salute to great mathematicians like Ramanujan who gifted us such a broad aspect of study in life. And lastly, I would like to thank the organization for letting me participate in it and appreciate my work in all terms. And on this auspicious day, to everyone present here, a very happy National Mathematics Day. Thank you. Due to my SEM1 internal exams going on, I couldn't make my video more creative by going outside and shooting the real scenes. But whatever I have done, I have tried to do my best. Thank you.